This week's parish is a tough one. It's got the Torah. Curses. So much so that if you look at the division of the Parshias between Mammon and Rosh Hashanah, the end of the year, the later Parshias was split up, a very short. And the idea was to make sure that the curses are a while before Rosh Hashanah. Tich Lashana the Kil Hosea. Let the year finish. Along with all the curses and all the difficulties. And Tich Lashana the Kil Hosea, let the year begin with blessing. So now, partially, we have the blessings and the curses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, blessings are nice. Not too many. The curses. The details. They're so descriptive, morbid, and so many. Similarly, the Basic tells us that when Kali Yisrael crosses the yard day and comes in to Eretz Yisrael, the first thing they got to do, they go to Hargrizim and Harabel, two mountains. One's green, one's bare. Have half the nation on one side, half on the other. And there's a whole list of blessed are those who do this and cursed are those who do that. But the Torah only mentions the curses. It doesn't mention the blessings. Rashi tells us, well, it's obvious. It said it. He'll give the, the blessings and the curses. But the Torah left out the blessings. So what's the secret? There's so many curses, but only so many. They're difficult. There's so many. Blessing. Blessing. It's a different state of existence. Blessing is infinite. It's too big to be put into details. That's something that we have to learn to actually experience. What's it going to say? All right, you get a new car. As many physical items as you will ever, ever get. There's always something new. There's always something else. If the blessings are simply physical stuff, it never satisfies. You know something? At the end of the day, it's empty. Blessing is a state of being. Blessing is real happiness. 
blessing is being able to identify with the divine soul within you, which is Ein Sof. It is without definition in any way. It is without end. A state of fulfillment, of constant fulfillment, Curses. Yeah, they're bad. This one, that one, the other, but that's it. Blessing is a whole state of being. And it's George really giving us the choice. And you always, always, whenever you hear this stuff, whenever you read it, you've got to match it up with your own personal experience. And come on, let's be honest. What makes you happy? Fun, killing time. Blessing in the eyes of Torah is a real feeling of fulfillment. There was nothing finite, there was nothing physical that can give you that feeling. Of course, it's all fine, it's all physical. The worst curse of all is missing out on the blessing. What's put before us is the choice. An empty, meaningless life. Yeah, with a good moment here and there. A real blessing. Building yourself. Learning to care, to be patient. Really giving honest. Torah has to offer is a state of blessing. The curses are details. The curses are finite. Possible, but they're finite. Blessing is a state of being. Real happiness. Really believing in yourself. Really being happy with who you are because you've discovered the greatness within yourself. Not that the pretend stuff that you hide behind so you don't have to deal with your shortcomings. There are no words that can contain blessing other than blessing itself. Racha. Yeah, it turns out a couple of stuff. A couple of things. The essence of it. Be blessed when you come, you should be blessed when you go. Evil, 
you know, there's really nothing other than diminished existence. It's not a reality at its own. Good. What's good? That's existence. That's reality. Getting closer to Rosh Hashanah. What are you looking forward to? What is it that you want for this coming year? You got a list. A list made of finite stuff. Other than that, is it? You're looking for true blessing. You're looking for true happiness. You're looking for true greatness. You're looking to connect with the divine within you, which is endless. You want that feeling of electricity, of being alive. You're looking for Raha. That's what you're looking for. You'll get it. You also want the car. You may get that, but at the expense of Raha. You want what's real. You want what's the eternal you. You want what's long lasting. So let's get it straight before Rosh Hashanah so we don't waste our Rosh Hashanah. We want bracha. We want life. We want to grow. We want to share.